by Eric Thomas WBC Jr. middleweight champion Jermel Charlo 290, 14 KOs puts his title and unbeaten record on the line this Saturday night on October 14 against 22-year-old Erickson the Hammer Lubin 180, 13 KOs in a big triple header at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. Charlo vs. Lubin is the co-feature bout on the Eros Lindy Lara vs. Terrell Gasha card. Three fights on the card, Larry Gasha, Charla Lubin and Jared Hurd vs. Austin Trout will be televised on Showtime Championship Boxing, as part of a premier boxing champion's presentation. It's three excellent junior middleweight bouts in what could lead to unification fights between the winners. This looks to be the toughest match of 27-year-old Charlo's 10-year pro career. He hasn't faced anyone with this combination of power, boxing skills and youth thus. The advantage that Charlo has in this fight is he's the best he's ever been. Charlo seems to be improving with every fight. Up until 2015, the one thing that Charlo had going against him was a lack of world-class power. However, Charlo has done an excellent job of improving his power, and he's now knocking guys out like never before. The 154 pounds division is a really tough one right. Even if Charlo beats Lubin, he's still got a number of highly talented contenders that will quickly be coming after him trying to dethrone him. Lubin is just the first of many talented contenders that Charlo will need to deal with for him to keep his World Boxing Council Junior Middleweight title. Charlo won the WBC belt last year in stopping John Jackson in the 8th round on May 21. Charlo has since defended the title once in knocking out Charles Hadley in the 7th round in his last fight on April 22 at the Barclays Center. Lubin is very confident of his boxing skills, and he sees himself being too good for Charlo to handle on Saturday night. Read Lara Gusha, Charlo Lubin heard Trout media transcript He don't feel like Charlo has ever fought anyone like me, said Lubin. And October 14th the world will definitely know what my name is, Erickson Lubin. They're going to know who the hammer is. I'm definitely preparing myself for a knockout. I want to get the knockout and make a big statement winning my first world title, said Lubin. Lubin might need to get a knockout in this fight for him to get the W, considering how good Charlo's technical skills are. Charlo is tall, rangy and he's got an outstanding jab that he likes to use to win rounds. Charlo tends to set a lot of traps in his fights. He sets up his opponents like a chess player, and then he goes on the attack with a blistering flurry of shots. Charlo catches his opponents by surprise with the suddenness of his attacks. With Charlo's power and his furious attacking style, he's very hard to beat. In his last three fights, Jamel has become more like his twin brother Jamal Charlo, who has devastating power, and a fearlessness that few fighters possess in the sport. Jamal doesn't think twice about taking chances in his fights. His ruthlessness and power is what makes Jamal so good. Jamal started his career more as a boxer than a puncher, but he's changed his style recently in fighting just like his brother. The power and the speed are there for Jamal. He's now like a carbon copy of his brother Jamal in terms of his offensive skills and his courage. If Lubin can beat Jermel, it'll say a lot about how talented he is. Lubin is going to need to start quickly on Saturday night if he wants to score a knockout. If he waits too long, he'll get taken out by one of Jermel's lightning attacks. The first six rounds are going to be key for Lubin. If Lubin doesn't score a knockout over Charlo first half of the fight, then he's going to have problems in the last six rounds. Charlo, 511, has a 2-inch height advantage over the 59 Lubin, and he has a 3-inch reach advantage to go along with that. Lubin will need to pressure Charlo to get close enough to land his bombs in this fight. It's not going to be easy for Lubin to do that, as Charlo unloads on his opponents with powerful combinations when they get near enough to throw shots. Charlo isnt going to wait for Lubin to start throwing punches for him to begin teeing off. Read Lara vs. Gasha Charlo vs. Lubin 8 days a you can definitely go 12 rounds. I already been 10 rounds before. I'm definitely ready. I trained for it, said Lubin. Lubin has gotten some good sparring for this fight. Daniel Jacobs, a former middleweight champion, is one of the guys that Lubin has talked of sparring with. Jacobs, 60, is around the same size as Charlo, but a little heavier. Jacobs and Charlo has similar power. The only difference is Charlo and his brother Jamal are a lot more aggressive than the 30-year-old Jacobs and younger than him, by three years. Erickson Lubin wins, said Lubin in making his prediction for his fight with Charlo. He does have decent power. I've seen a few of his fights where he did what he had to do and knocked the guys out, like Charles Hatley of course, and John Jackson. So the guys they put in for him that he's supposed to get out, said Lubin. 
Knocking out Hatley and Jackson showed that Charlo was dangerous. Jackson had been knocked out in the fifth round previously by Andy Lee in 2014, and Hatley had been stopped by Leonardo Tyner in the 1T round in 2012. Nevertheless, the shots that Charlo knocked Jackson and Hatley out with were punches that would have stopped a lot of fighters in the 154-pound division. Those guys did and T go down just because they had limited punch resistance. They were knocked out because Charlo hit them with major shots that they simply couldn't take. Lubin needs to make sure he keeps his guard up at all times on Saturday night. He needs to be aware of what angles Charlo is punching from, and he can't let himself get caught in one of his steel traps. Charlo springs on his opponents like a cobra snake when he attacks. He doesn't just throw one shots. Read Laragasha, Charlo Lubin heard Trout Media Transcript Charlo puts his punches together in sequence, and it's hard for his opponents to block all the incoming, especially when the attack comes suddenly and with blazing speed and force. Lubin HASNT fought anyone yet as a pro that fights like that. It's possible that in Lubin's amateur career he fought some tricky fighters with a style similar to Charlo, but he HASNT been in the ring with anyone with the boxing skills that he'll be seeing on Saturday. This fight comes really early for Lubin in his career. At 22, with only four years of experience in the pro ranks, Lubin is being thrown with the Lions a little early. As an amateur, Lubin was being groomed to compete in the Olympics. But he passed up that option and turned pro in 2013. The last four years has been more or less an extension of Lubin's amateur career. He's beaten Jorge Cota, Juan Ubaldo Cabrera, Ivan Montero, Daniel Sandoval, Noe Bolaños, Norberto Gonzalez, Jose de Jesus Macias, Alexis Camacho and Orlando Laura. Some of those guys are good fighters. Lubin learned from those fights, and he's improved dramatically. Lubin still isnt anywhere near the peak of his skills yet, which is what makes it so scary. He's going to be a very good fighter one of these days. The only question is whether Lubin is taking the fight with Charlo a little too early. That question will be answered on Saturday night when Lubin and Charlo meet up at the Barclays Center.